All right, well, we have some video we want to roll now so of cool. the fog rolling into the city. Of course, it was such a spectacle last night at Gillette Stadium, and uh, the Falcons kind of saying that was part of the reason why they lost. Yeah, because they're the only ones, Eric, who yeah. experienced it they out there a, on the field. A microclimate, just when right. the Falcons' offense was on That's the field. Cool, you know how that works there. <laughs> it was pretty interesting last night, although I got to say, it was nice to get that camera viewpoint from right behind the quarterback all night. It was very different. Maybe they'll end up using that more often in the games to come. Now, we're watching a big change in the weather. Now, we're actually talking about a storm system moving in our direction. It's been so long. Sunshine, comfortable air. But our storm will be moving in slowly during the day tomorrow with the highest impact day being on Wednesday. It looks like a widespread one to two inches of rain, some isolated two to four inch rain amounts, some localized street flooding, and some very gusty winds. And since we have such late foliage this year, it would be easy to bring down a few trees especially as we head into tomorrow night and Wednesday. So here's our developing storm system. It seems very close, but this is going to be a really slow mover. The winds are generally due south to north. They're not west to east. And so this is just going to crawl toward New England over the next couple of days. So the rain right now around Pittsburgh is going to take its time to reach us. Otherwise, very mild tonight. Temperatures mainly in the 60s. The humidity will be moving up. The clouds filling in and the fog returning from many areas again tonight. And temps will hover very close to 60 degrees. And tomorrow's another really mild day. Even with mainly cloudy skies, many towns have a good chance of topping 70. That's about 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Tomorrow is a mainly dry day with some scattered showers developing. There'll be just a couple on and off across the area, but mostly we're talking about increasing gusty winds, increasing humidity, feeling more humid outside, and a little bit of wet weather. The main band of storms is going to be across western New England for tomorrow and around the Hudson Valley. That slowly pushes east late Tuesday night into Wednesday. It's going to take all Wednesday for that band to push offshore. That's why we should see some pretty high rain totals. And then eventually by Thursday morning, that band should begin to move out into the Atlantic. But I think a widespread one to two inches and where we could see some two to four inch totals, thinking two areas of max rainfall. One will be across western New England and around the Hudson Valley. The other max will likely be in southeastern Massachusetts. So a couple of spots where we could see some pretty significant amounts of rain. And we have not had that at all. The last eight in Boston have been completely dry and since the start of the month not even a half inch of rain has fallen in the Boston area. Now a little bit of bad timing here. We've got winds increasing tomorrow afternoon very gusty out of the south southeast. They'll peak tomorrow night into Wednesday <coughs> and with these gusts that will be over 40 miles per hour at times our foliage really just started to pop this weekend. We're not going to lose all of it but a lot of these leaves will start to come down in these gusty winds and they'll be with us until we head into Wednesday night and then they'll be tapering off. Wind advisory is out across Massachusetts, Rhode Island and Connecticut beginning at noon tomorrow and especially where we get some of these heavier downpours when you're in a bout of heavier rain or even some rumbles of thunder on Wednesday, that's where we could see some gusts around 50, maybe even 55 miles per hour. That certainly would bring down some trees. Humidity, very high for tomorrow and Wednesday. It'll start to fall back on Thursday. So it's about a two-day stint. And because these nights won't be very cool, we're going to keep our standing. Right now, it's the second warmest October on record. And these next couple of nights will be well above the norm. We'll dry out as we head into the end of the week. So here's a look at your seven-day. A couple of lingering showers on Thursday and cooler. Friday and Saturday both look very nice. Our next storm system arrives by late on Sunday. With any luck, David and Lisa, Sunday night, but not Sunday during the day. All right, perfect. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it.